What's up guys, so it's been a little while since we last did an analysis video, so I figured it was time to do another, especially since we have Sephiroth in the roster now. We'll be taking a look at some elite smash habits to keep an eye out for, as well as how to punish them. So first off we have a Bowser Ditto. Now this starts off relatively normal, but this Bowser had one bad habit that kept coming into play. We'll get to that when it comes, but for now we'll keep analyzing as the match goes. Down air there, which I was expecting, but I wasn't able to punish because I spaced a little bit too far away to get the grab. Get over the fire breath with the fair and we're just both mashing. He gets that side B mash, uh, and this is his bad habit right here. He kept going off stage, and that back air should have served as a warning shot to, you know, kind of judge whether or not it's a good option to go off stage all the time. Because sometimes you do want to go off stage as Bowser, as you'll see later, but... Um, he had a habit of only using that option for the edge guard. I tried to punish his up smash with ledge drop back air, but it put me in too much shield stun to get it in time. Throw out this down smash and he rolls into the back hit. I think he was trying to F tilt here, but the C stick input probably didn't register. I tried to down B over the fire breath, you'll see that again later. Um, but yeah, he sets me off stage, however, once again goes off stage and we get that reverse edge guard back air. Now with the lead in advantage, I just try to get him to approach, he does just that and we get a perfect stop. Up throw fair, up air, I love the up throw combo extensions. Side B on the platform, I believe we take his second jump right there, so he's out of a jump. Another fair, he air dodges, so he's completely out of resources, and we get that ledge drop back air. No jump, no air dodge, he was pretty much a sitting duck. Finally, after two stocks and edge guard fair pays off for him. I actually did try to go low there too, to get a reverse edge guard fair, but Bowser fair hitbox is just too huge, so I still got hit. Forward air into jab, into fire breath, hoping to get a roll in or a neutral getup. He rolls away, but still takes some damage from it. Good getup attack there, and then he sets up a fire breath. I take damage, but my priority here is just to get over him and down B. He shields, and we end up getting that shield break, right? And now, of course, the game is over. That down B shield break over fire breath was what I was looking for in the first stop too, but didn't pay off the first time, but it did pay off the second time for us to close out the game. But yeah, guys, this Bowser had a bad habit of going off stage, run off fair every time. It paid off for him once, but other times got him punished. So definitely keep in mind to mix up those ledge trapping and edge guarding options. Also not the best resource management as far as retaining your jump and air dodge, which is what allowed us to get that zero to death string uh, on the second stock. Zero to death if you don't count the trade from this back air, that is. Also guys, while you're here, if you're enjoying the content, do me a favor, if you haven't already, Hit the thumbs up button to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. We're so close to 3,000 subs guys and I would love to hit that before the year ends. There's only a few days left and I believe we can do it. So be sure to subscribe guys and hit the thumbs up and drop a comment to help with that algorithm too. Now next up we have a Zelda which is kind of the opposite case as a zoner character, right? First thing we do, jump in fire breath because we know they're just going to be setting up a projectile. In this case it's always going to be kind of us coming in because they'll always be comfortable just setting up and camping on the side, right? I'm not doing the best job approaching here though. Too many fares, I should have been able to mix up more with stuff like side B and even fire breath. I should have full hop back air there instead of short hop back air. Get her off stage and then notice I wait. I see the confirmation I need that this Zelda is gonna be doing the classic Wi-Fi special move off stage. Run off air with that in mind and we close out the stock. Keep in mind I didn't just run off air there from the start, right? I got confirmation first from the first time I sent them off stage and then once I had that, that's when I actually used the edge guard fair for the second edge guard situation. Get back to stage here, get a fair in, but a little bit too much percent to combo into jab. Another fair, and I'm just relentlessly going for these fairs now that I know they're just going to be setting up specials off stage. Once again, I tried to get that fair really close, but they released the knight in time to stop me. However, they SD in the process. Very comfortable two stock lead now, so I can retreat to ledge. They touch our shield, we can tough guy through that jab. Up throw fair, up air combo extension, I try to get this up smash. Falling there, fair attempt leads to frame trap F tilt, they're off stage, and then we seal it out with another fair. Zero to death in 9 seconds because we knew exactly how they'd set up off stage since they were just setting up specials off stage every single time. The B move stalls off stage is a very common elite smash strat, so definitely keep an eye out for them because Bowser has the edge guard tools to punish it. Next up we have some Sephiroth analysis. And this is a match that you might have seen from one of the live commentary elite smash videos I did, but it did fit the bill for, you know, punishing bad Wi-Fi elite smash habits. So it was a perfect addition to this analysis video. I tried to punish that up B with a down tilt, but I caught a ledge drop down air instead. But notice spot dodge, down tilt, spot dodge. So this cloud had a very bad spot dodge habit, pretty much spot dodge every time they touched shield with a move or whiffed. The thing that sucks is that characters with really good frame data, like Cloud for example, can actually really get away with this. Spot dodging works a little bit too well, especially online, it's kind of hard to punish it, but it is punishable. You just have to do it on a read online instead of on reaction, which does suck, but 
If you know what's coming, go for the hard reads. I'm just sitting back here actually trying to sort of bait an approach from him because I'm not scared of limit. He can charge it all he wants. No one but me actually uses it to get early kills with finishing touch, right? So I'm not scared of a limit cross slash at this point. Instead, I'm just trying to keep my zone, punish his approaches and bait spot dodges, right? Since I know that's what he's gonna do. Spot dodge, however we clank. Now besides the spot dodges, this cloud also had a very bad habit of jumping too often. Jumps right into that back air, we sent him off stage and he used his second jump already. So now he's just a sitting duck off stage, right? As Cloud, it's understandable, I get it. I also have this habit with double jumping too early with Cloud too. I actually get gimped a lot because of it. So definitely something to look for as a Cloud player, guys. Try to conserve your jump. And if you're fighting Cloud, look out for this to punish it because it's a very, very common Cloud thing to do. I get wing and I go for a downer and I'm actually able to get away with it. He can't punish it with the F tilt and I actually get a punish instead. Sephiroth's downer is actually pretty lagless. And here's where the spot dodge read comes into play, guys. Got that charge F smash. Unfortunately, not the sweet spot. But again, he's off stage, burns his second jump every time. The third bad habit that this dude had was that he kept approaching with down air when he was in disadvantage. And if you look back at that second stock, you'll notice it. I wasn't talking about it much, but take a look back when you can. Anyway, we're in advantage here. We have no need to approach, so I am just sitting back chilling. DI yeah, this up. I should have full hop fared. Again, I'm chilling. I'm trying to get some orbs on him. Gets me with the dash attack and sends me off stage. We come back just fine, and this is where everything comes into play, guys. He double jumps and tries to come in with down air. We outspace it. Read the roll with F smash. We know a spot dodge is coming here. Punish it with F smash. Send him back off stage. Again, he burned his double jump. He up beat into the flare, but that actually saved him because if he just up beat, he would have fell into his death because he was just so far away. Throws me off stage, but it's not a big deal because reverse edge guard and the game is over. Bad habits of spot dodging all the time, landing the same way with down air, and always burning that double jump to recover high. And we were able to take note of these and punish all of these habits to close out the game with a dominant 3 stock. Next up we have a Steve, and this one is actually pretty interesting because this Steve was really good and it also highlights some of my bad habits too. So, starts off normal enough, he's got some orbs on him, manages to shield them, but he sure looks comfortable in the shield. Really good juggle here, and this is how you know he's actually a good Steve, right? My DI there was so bad. I think I was just DIing straight in, which allowed him to extend that juggle a lot more. I think if I DI'd out, I might have been able to get away. Flair manages to stop the minecart. He comes right into my grab. Bad habit of mine, I should base my follow-ups after Sephiroth's throw combos on reacting to their DI instead of just trying to read it. And this guy's bad habit was he was way too comfortable in shield, especially when we have a shield breaker set up like that. Perfectly spaced Giga Flare F smash and he dies. Sephiroth's Steve matchup is one I'm still kind of trying to figure out. I'm not sure if it's a better idea to kind of sit back, because uh, at the same time you sit back too much, he can camp and set up all his mining tools, right? He gets a lot of resources. But Sephiroth also gets a lot by letting people come in, such as setting up the Shadow Flare orbs. Back throw full hop back air and it connects this time, we send him off stage. I retreated there expecting a cart, but instead he mixed it up with an upbeat to stage. And this is exactly what I was talking about. I'm not sure what's the best option, whether to go in or just kind of sit back, right? Uh, and for whatever reason, I have a really hard time dealing with Cart in this matchup. With Bowser, I deal with it very easily. Anyway, we have some orbs on him. I go for this down smash. And once again, he's just too comfortable in shield. Another perfectly spaced Giga Flare F smash. And he's dead again. Just a really bad habit of being way too comfortable in shield against a character like Sephiroth with such a potent shield break setup. Again, I have a really hard time with Cart in this matchup, guys. With Bowser, I can just kind of up smash it or, you know, back air it or fair it, right? But with Sephiroth, I think the timing for the moves comes out a little bit too late for me to, you know, get a punish the way I want it to. Also, I'm not sure when it actually stops and when it keeps going and becomes a grab because sometimes I feel like it hits my shield and then just stops, but other times it keeps going and becomes a grab and I don't know when each situation comes up. So if you guys do know, let me know in the comments, when does it just stop against your shield and when does it become a grab? Is it like the speed of the cart? I also spent too much time kind of setting up for another shield break. I figured this guy was really comfortable in the shield, so I wanted to just commit to all shield break kills, right? But that coupled with the fact that I didn't know how to deal with cart in this matchup makes it so that I end up taking a lot more damage than I should in these situations. Again, I'm having a hard time deciding when to come in and when to sit back, right? Because I can't just let him get all these resources, but every time I've been coming in, I'm getting punished by the cart, like right there. Uh, and with Bowser, I can deal with it. With Sephiroth, I'm still trying to figure it out. Cart grabs me right out of the shield there. 
Uh, it didn't even hit my shield first, you know? Usually it's like, it hits the shield and grabs like that. But the other time it just straight grabbed me out of the shield and I don't understand it. Make it back to stage here with an Octo Slash. See, why didn't it grab me right there? With Wing now, I actually get a little bit more aggressive. Uh, dash attack on a shield right there, not a good move. But I'm pretty much sick of getting, you know, bamboozled by this cart at this point. So I play more recklessly than I should. Um, a lot of dash attacks and a lot of trying to come in. But yeah, don't play like this, guys. Dash attack fail, dash attack whiff. Look at that. That's that's not how you want to play. Try to keep your composure even in situations like this, okay? I'm tilted. I'm annoyed. I throw out this up smash to try to cover everything, and it actually does. So, But yeah, guys, that match was interesting to cover because it's bad habits from both of us, right? Him being way too comfortable sitting in shield and me not really knowing how to deal with the cart and not changing my approach to it. Maybe I should have countered it a few times. Um, yeah, I really don't know. Or maybe I just deal with it with up smash, right? I really don't know, but I do want to follow up this game with a Bowser Steve game because I want to show you how I cover and deal with the cart as Bowser. So with Bowser, no question, I don't even like let them set up. I'm always just coming in. I don't let them set up resources. And I also know a few things about this matchup. They love to grab, they love to roll, and they love recovering high with minecart, which for whatever reason I can deal with really well with Bowser, but not Sephiroth. Maybe it's just Bowser's faster moves. But right there, I called out the minecart, double jumped into the fair, right? Again, I'm trying to come in there. Fire Breath probably would have been the better option for more range. Nair to bear missed. And then we just get this grab into an up throw combo. And then I try to read a minecart right there. He got greedy with the F smash card, so I'm able to punish it before it comes out. Try to catch the minecart with the high fair. Punish the up smash out of shield with a side B, and that was awful DI on that side B. Anvil too, they love Anvil, so always look out for that. You can actually get F smash and up smash punishes with that. We know cart is coming, so we hold shield, and then we punish him jumping out of it with the back air across the stage. We have a lead now, so we don't need to be overly committal, but we also can't just let him mine resources, right? Up B out of shield sets him on platform, and we get the platform down B to shield break him. I know he's not damaged enough, so I space out the tips of Fire Breath to keep him in stun, but I missed the platform with that jump, uh, so I'm not able to get my F Smash punish in time. However, we do punish the Anvil there with an F Smash and send him back off stage. Again, I know Cart's coming, I barely missed this fair. However, the down air still puts him in disadvantage. Basically looking for Cart here, very close to punishing it each time, just a little short off the mark, but you know the idea is there. Side B kills him way earlier than it should, not the best DI. We punish the whiff up smash there with fair, and then we sit and shield and wait for his option, right? Not really trying to rush or push advantage state yet. I should have stayed in shield there. Just a little bit of damage, not too big a deal. Then we get this grab and really start setting things up. Back air follow up to send him off stage. Good on him for not using cart right there. I was ready to punish it with a fair. Send him off stage again, and I expect a cart. Threw out a back air to cover cart, and even though he used up B instead, back air covered it all the same. And we finish off with a three stop. So with this matchup, it's all about the air to air and catching the high recoveries, whether with cart or up B. Maybe I just need to take as aggressive an air to air approach with Sephiroth to catch cart high up. Back to the topic of the video, guys. Lots of Wi Fi elite smash habits to look out for. Whether reverse edge guarding, overly aggressive edge guards, special stalls off stage, punishing shields or spot dodges, or reading and catching high recoveries. That's it for this video guys, if you enjoyed do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, leave a like on the video, drop a comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.